Hoy la cosa se puso buena. El gozo corre por mi vena. Vamos a olvidarnos de la pena. Esta fiesta nadie la freda. Sin parar. Porque traímos bomba para Mucha sal, mucha, mucha, mucha sal. De los que hablan con la L que hacen todo hasta el final. Un creyente borico con bomba para fincar. En medio de la tormenta gozando voy a brincar. Yo, llama a Selena, a Orlando y a Luca. Tengo palabras que nunca caduca. Al enemigo le tumbe la peluca. The Southern California sun is starting to set as we welcome you to Dodger Stadium in Los Angeles. Tonight, an intriguing matchup between the Chicago Cubs and the Los Angeles Dodgers. Major League Baseball on the show is next. Trevor Bauer, the California-born right-hander, is on the mound. What do we need to know here, Danny? This will be interesting. This guy won the NL Cy Young Award last year. He's a solid pitcher, Matt. One of the things he does, he throws the ball into the strike zone, and he's not afraid of contact. Solid pitcher. Digging in next will be Chris Bryant, and we are set for baseball here Getting this evening. For the, Cubs, the left fielder, Chris Bryant. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. And it's the outside corner. It's strike one. First pitch. 7 10. Swing and a miss here, and he's behind in the count now. 0 and 2. It's not easy to get your barrel to a pitch that high. That could be an effective location as long as he keeps it above the letters. Now a swing and a miss on the fastball. Then the leadoff man is set down here for the first out of the evening. Didn't mess around much in that at bat, Dan. No, that was pretty impressive, Matt. I really like a pitcher that trusts and works off his fastball. And right there, he decided he didn't need to use anything else. Three straight heaters and go grab some bench. Here's the young catcher, Wilson Contreras. As he'll take a look at a slider in the dirt, and it's ball one. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. And it's fouled away. One out, nobody on. Fouled off again, and now he's in a one and two hole. Into the windup and the pitch. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there, two away. The main job of the number one and two hitters is to set the middle of the order up with an opportunity to do some damage. So when you strike both of them out, you're putting yourself in a pretty good position to make it through the teeth of the lineup without a whole lot of stress. Here's Javier Baez. A ball and no strikes. Looking to at least put the ball in play here this inning. That's inside. 2 0. As a veteran out on the mound, that's a pitch that you expect to get a call on. Got to believe he keeps pounding that spot until he builds a rapport with the umpire. Too far out in front that time. He can't keep it fair. Two and one. Just underway here in Southern California. 
on a good pitch there had him stretching to get out there and it's two and two now. Don't quite know where that one missed but it's not for me to decide three and two. Wow kind of an interesting pitch call there. The batter flailed at the pitch away on the previous one so you would think you'd go right back there but instead they decided to come in make him prove he can adjust before you do. And a great inning here as he gets another punch out and strikes out the side in order. So a pitching clinic there as he sets them down in order all via the punch out. Bottom of the first straight ahead we are scoreless on the show. Hendricks is the man towing the rubber for the Cubs in this one. Dan, any thoughts? Hey, this guy's a throwback to when you didn't have to throw the ball through a brick wall. Great assortment of pitches, Kyle Hendricks. He sinks it, he cuts it, has a great changeup, moves the ball in, out, up, and down. Certainly won't blow up a radar gun, but you know what you're going to get every five days from this guy? As consistent a starting pitcher as there is in the league right now. So that'll bring in Mookie Betts. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Now the pitch. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Fastball called, strike three, and there's the first out of the inning. Just flat out froze him there. Nothing too deceptive about that four seam fastball, so I think he wasn't expecting it at all. Cody Bellinger. So here's Cody Bellinger. As the sinker to him finds the zone for strike one. And you see that average below the dreaded Mendoza line. Into the windup, here comes the 0 2 pitch. That's a great sinker right there. These batters are going to have to bear down because if he's got that good pitch working, it's going to be a long game. They might have to sit off speed. Had to wait back on the changeup, and he did a good job just to make contact. And he looks at a ball, one and two. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. Good job of making him chase a pitch for the strikeout there. Yeah, Matt, that's the advantage of getting ahead in the count. You can really force hitters to expand their zone and protect. And when they're in that mode, getting them to go after a pitch they can't do much with becomes a lot easier. And that'll bring up the versatile Max Muncy. As he'll watch one miss down and in for a ball, 1-0. and oh. Trying to avoid becoming the third strikeout victim of the inning here. Change up low, 2 and 0. Oh. Gonna be a long day if he executes like this, punching tickets right out of the gate. 2 and 1 after the foul ball there. Bases are empty here with two men out. Fouled away. Looking to set down the side on strikes. Here it comes. Sharp ground ball toward the hole. Over to first, and that retires the side. One, two, three, go the Dodgers. Still no score.
new inning set to get underway and into bat next the left handed hitting first baseman Anthony Rizzo. Anthony Rizzo. Pitch on the way. As he'll take a look at a pitch too low, it's ball one. Well, it should be 2 and 0, oh, but he goes way out of the zone to go after that one, and it's even 1 and 1. Hey, you could tell his eyes lit up on that ball right there. It was a little up, but it was out over the plate. Tough pitch to pull, and this guy's known for going deep pull side. The 1 1. Breaking ball well inside and taken for ball three. There's Jake Marisnik. He'll get his shot next. Now the payoff pitch home. And he fouls this one off. And that misses for ball four. So it's a leadoff walk here to start the second. Well, that was a slider in a 3 2 count, and it just didn't That's tempt him enough to get a good swing. A good job of pitch recognition and knowing the strike zone to draw the free pass there. Digging in next, Jake Marisnik. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. This one's outside quite a bit off the plate that time. Fouled off. And it's fouled away. Now a swing and a miss as he picks up another one. Make it four strikeouts already, and there's your first out. Wow, his stuff looks electric coming out of the gates in this one, guys. That's five batters faced, four strikeouts. That's going to be a tough pace to keep up, but it looks like he has what it takes to work deep into this game. At the plate, Patrick Wisdom, as he'll take a look at a high strike that time. It's nothing in one. First swings for him in this one with a runner still at first and one gone. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. Swing and a miss, and he's in the hole 0 2 now. And there are the umpires assigned to this one. Calling balls and strikes is Mr. Carl Dixon. Dan, this is an offensive player's dream to have Carl Dixon behind the dish. He is tight on the corner. He is, D. Rowe. And listen, he makes you bring the ball into the strike zone. Normally, high scoring of games when Carl's behind the dish. One ball and two strikes to count. This is foul right side. Still looking for our first hit in the ball game. And this is swung on and missed his fifth strikeout already. And there are two gone in the inning. Boy, there's nothing like seeing a good power pitcher that has a good fastball. And what does he do? He just throws this good fastball right by, brings the express. No chance to put that ball in play. Here's Eric Sogard. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. Set and the pitch as he'll look at a fastball too high for ball one. That evens it up one and one.
fouled away. The one two is looked at for ball number two. And it's belted high and deep into right center. Bellinger looking up. And that one is gone on a two strike count with two away in the inning. So it's a two-run shot to right center. Home run number two for him on the year as the Cubs are out in front now two to nothing. You don't see this very often over this starting pitcher. This guy's not used to giving up some bombs, so I'm sure that'll be a wake-up call, and he'll start throwing some better pitches. Here's Jason Hayward now. As the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for bowl one. They'll work on keeping this top of the second alive. Cut fastball and it's by him one and one. And now a fastball, but he's able to hold off on it, and it's two and one now. Into the windup and the pitch. It's clear he just hasn't been able to find any rhythm out there, pretty much unable to hit any of his spots, and now he's at three and one, and he's put him into another great hitting count. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. There's ball four. Yeah, the pitching coach would hate to go to the bullpen this early in the game, but sometimes you have no choice. On the flip side, he might just get in his face a little bit out there, try to challenge him, wake him up from his funk. Either way, we'll see how it works. So a runner at first with two away, and the pitcher Kyle Hendricks will be the next to bat. He's set. Here it comes. Wow, that's 40 pitches for him already. This doesn't have the makings of a start that he's going to go very deep. The 1-0 is swung on and missed. Strike one. When I broke into the league, not many guys were throwing that elevated fastball with that much velocity on it. The game has changed. The 1-1 home takes a pass and misses. That's strike two. Well, that's a surprising late swing on a heater middle cut right there. In a fastball count, he's going to have to turn it up a notch. And he fouls this one off. And that one misses badly. It's ball two. You certainly know he's not trying to work around the pitcher. But sometimes the hardest thing to do is to throw a strike to a guy that you know won't swing the bat. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. The 2-2 two -two one more time. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. Hayward is off of first with two away. On the eighth pitch of the at bat is the one that finally does it as he wears him down and the inning is over. Two for the Cubs in the inning on the strength of this two run home run. On to the bottom of inning number two. It's now 2 0 Chicago. Last half of the second set to go, and that brings up Will Smith. You know, these next couple innings are really important for these guys. I know they're only down by a couple, but they need to get something going on offense to keep pace, even though it's early. One and O oh the count. And 
And now a pitch on the way. High in the air down the right field line. Therefore, it is Hayward now, one away. Batting six, the third baseman, Justin Turner. So bases are empty with one gun, and digging in at the plate will be Justin Turner. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. Pitch taken several inches below the zone, in fact. And that pitch misses in the dirt, and it's 2 0 now. Bases are empty, one man out. Late swing on the hitter's count. Still a good count for him now, however, at 2 and 1. Hey, last two pitches back to back off speed, then he's laid on the fastball. He could pretty much do anything he wants right here on the mound. And that's the second out. That is good. Next up for Los it's Angeles, Gavin Lux. Gavin. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. And this one's not close. It's in the dirt for ball one. Hey, a two-out walk right here would be the time run to the plate. Even though it's early on, you've got a guy on deck that has a lot of pop. This is on the ground over the first. Oh, look at the stop by Rizzo. He is out. Another look at the fine play at first that concludes matters here in the inning. We're back to Friday Night Baseball on the show after this. Welcome back to Dodger Stadium. Let's send it down to the field in Heidi Watney. Thanks, Matt. In between innings, I was able to catch up with the manager of the Cubs to discuss his thoughts on his lineup so far. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. It's still pretty early in the game, but they've seen a lot of pitches already, and he thinks the two runs they've pushed across so far is just the beginning, given the quality of the at-bats they're putting together. Thank you, Heidi. Top of the third set to get underway, and standing in is the veteran outfielder, Chris Bryant. First delivery to him. Good pitch there down below the zone got him to go after it. And he looks at one in there one and two. Not much you're going to do with that pitch right there. You have to catch it out front before it even breaks. And even if you do that, it's a tough pitch to keep fair. Ready to deliver the one and two. Softly hit here to the left side. And a base hit, so the leadoff man is on to begin the inning. Leadoff single to start the third right now. From an offensive standpoint, keep the aggressive at bats happening. Keep the pressure on the defense. Everything's looking good right now. Next to hit will be Wilson Contreras. As he swings and misses at a first pitch fastball, 0 and 1. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. On its way, the 0 1 pitch. Nobody out, runner on first. Fouled off. Here comes the one two. Oh, and ouch that one drilled him throw to first but he's safe and now the stadium's attention turns back to the man on the mound
Phil Bickford comes in unexpectedly from the pen in relief of his injured teammate. Javier Baez will be his first test out of the bullpen and it'll be a tough test indeed as he'll face him with two on and nobody out here. From the stretch. Bryant over at second. Contreras on at first with nobody out. A ball and a strike. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Working for the punch out and the offering. High in the air out to center field. Bellinger's under it. Makes the play one away. The next cub up, Anthony Rizzo. He scored after reaching on a walk in his first at bat. Pause, now the pitch. Now the 1 0. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Back goes Betts. Gone! So it's a three run shot to straight away right field. Home run number nine on the year. And the Cubs have now opened this up to a 5 0 lead. That wasn't the plan. You just have a meeting with your pitching coach to go over some strategy, and all of a sudden, you throw one, and it leaves the ballpark. Here's Jake Marisnik. As he lays nope. off a fastball too low for ball one. Struck out in his first at-bat. Now the 1 0. Misses for the second ball. Hey, always a good idea to take a couple of pitches when you're facing a young arm like this one. And now he's put himself at a real good hitter's count. Three runs already home here. Three and 0 now. Well, he was definitely looking fastball here, and he got one. But that was good discipline to lay off and get himself into a 3-0 count. Fastball too low, and that's ball four. Now batting, number 16. So stepping in is Patrick Wisdom, looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at-bat. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. Yes, he'll take a look at ball one. And when you're already down five, the last thing you want to do is fall behind in the count when you're on the mound. That's not going to do anything to help you get back into this thing. And here's a fastball in for strike one. 91 miles an hour that time. Now a throw over. And he'll dive back in. Runners on first with one down. Outside two and one. And it's two balls and two strikes now. I think it's about time to choke up on that bat and get that foot down. He's awfully tardy right now. And it's up to a 3-2 full count now. 
got to believe that runner from first is going to be in motion, especially in this situation. As an offensive player, just hit something hard because those defenders are going to be moving. On, he jumps on this one. It's high and deep to center. Bellinger looking up. Gone! Two-run shot to straightaway center. Number 10 for him on the year as this lead swells to 7 to nothing. Another excellent swing right there. That's multiple home runs in the same inning. Watch yourself. You're missing over the heart of the plate. Into the box, Eric Sogard. As he will take a look at strike one on a fastball right down the pipe. Sogard is unlike many of today's hitters in the sense that he doesn't have a lot of swing and miss in his approach at the plate. More often than not, he gets contact, and I'm sure that makes him a frustrating hitter to face from a pitcher standpoint. You know, he takes his chances when he has count leverage. Without question, 1-0, 2-0. You'll see this guy try and get nasty a little bit, but he stays within himself. He knows what his strengths are, and he tries to drive the ball right back where it came from. Fastball well outside. Well, I think he just kind of lost focus on the mound right there. It, it's clearly not going his way, and he's thinking more about that than the task at hand. And right now, he needs to think about this hitter. Into the windup, here's the 2 and one pitch. And he tried to hold up that time. We'll get an appeal down to third, and no swing. It's ball three. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. Still only one out in the inning. And it's fouled away. Again, he sends it out of play. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. And he looks at one that misses, and that's an excellent job of making his man throw a lot of pitches as he toughs out a walk. Well, he battled to get it to a 3-2 count, but that pitch wasn't even close. Now he's got a man on with one out, so he's got to focus on trying to get the ground ball. Stepping in once again is Jason Hayward. Worked a walk in his first plate appearance. From the belt, kicks and deals. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. I'll tell you, it's a helpless feeling for a manager or a pitching coach when your pitchers are having a really hard time throwing strikes. What are you supposed to do other than keep trying new guys until someone starts attacking the zone? Nope. And he falls behind now, 2-0. Well, that's another great hitting count here on 2-0. It's no wonder why they're up seven. Outside, 3-0 and oh now. Those were two great executed pitches right there away from this batter. He can hurt you in a heartbeat. I don't think anything's going to leak out over the heart of the plate. Runner at first here, one man out. And he misses again, ball four. And that's back-to-back -back guys now that have reached base via the base on balls. What's the saying? When you find yourself in a hole, the first thing you should do is stop digging. Well, the guy on the bump obviously hasn't heard that one. So here now is the pitcher, Kyle Hendricks. 0 for 1 here in the early going. From the stretch. And they do have him bunting with one away as he puts this one down. And he'll just beat the throw to second. He's in there. Here's Chris Bryant now. One for two on his line so far in the game. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. 
Now a ball lined toward the alley in left center. Dive, but it's off his glove, and that ought to get at least one run in. And they'll extend their lead even further as the run's in to score from third. It's eight to nothing. Boy, he had to be sitting on a fastball, Dero, right there, because he pulls this one and gets the barrel to it to drive that runner in from third. Yeah, Dan, you can tell he was sitting all over it. You don't get to a fastball like that without knowing it's coming. Nice piece of hit. Garrett Clevenger is going to come on to pitch here, and in just the third inning, you have to think he'll be asked to eat some innings. And now, Wilson Contreras, as he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty at strike one. So far this season, Contreras has a slugging percentage a little over 425, a respectable number. Comes set with the 0-1. And, and that misses 1-1. One and one. A strike to Contreras and it's one and one. It often becomes harder to hit the zone when the pressure starts to heat up. A little early and now it's even at two and two. From the belt, kicks and deals. And another foul ball. And he comes back with one down and in for ball three. Javier Baez waits on deck. down the left field line and deep and that will end up a foul ball neither guy given in here's the next one. Oh, and it misses ball four and that will force home a run wow they went to the pen because they liked the matchup and what does he do he walks the first guy he faces to bring it a run. So, so much for that strategy makes you wonder if they'll turn to him again next time in this situation. And that brings up Javi Baez. Third trip to the plate for him here tonight. 0 for 2 at this point. Now the first pitch. As the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. I kind of like the aggressive attitude right here. I know he's in a jam. What does he do? He goes to his best stuff, and that's the fastball. That's over, but low. It's a ball and a strike. Seven runs have crossed the plate in the inning. And he takes a cold strike, too. That's the exact spot to lean on as a reliever. As a hitter, you just have to tip your cap and look for the next one. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. And this is swung on and missed. Oh, a huge punch out there as the bases remain loaded with two away now. The first base. Now the Cubs four hole hitter Anthony Rizzo he went deep to the tune of a three run job his last time up from the stretch here's the pitch two out bases loaded. And this winds up inside for a ball two and oh now. Nowhere to put anybody. 2-0 count, not a good spot to be in as a pitcher. Oh. 
Mm, much too quick on the trigger there. It's two and one. That's evidence of a pitcher and catcher being totally in sync out there. That tells me they both know that's a good pitch for him right now. Two balls and a strike. Here it is. Pretty well hit deep down the line in right, but that's back into the seats. Foul. He's going to be thinking about that pitch all night if he doesn't have a big game right here. Pulled his front shoulder and everything went with it. And this misses, so it'll set up a big pitch coming up. It's full three and two. Jake Marisnik would be next. Challenge pitch coming. Here it is. Pulled toward right center field. Bats on the run. He's there to make the play, and that'll retire the side. But a big inning here is seven runs across the plate, and this lead grows even wider. We'll move on to the bottom of inning number three. The Cubs lead this one nine to nothing. Now at the plate, here is A.J. Pollock. He leads off this go. half inning in what they hope will be a rebuttal to all those runs they just gave up. Well, Matt, I think mentally they need to get one or two of these runs back right here. Just getting on the board after getting socked in the mouth by the opposing team can lift the team up a bit. We'll see if they can string something together. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. Hey, with this big a lead, you have to just pound the zone and force this team to get aggressive in the box. Hey. And he fires in a strike this time to make it one ball and one strike. The offense better get it going right here because they certainly can tell from their dugout. This guy is carrying himself with a presence out on the mound. He's got feel for all his pitches. Now the 2-1. And solid contact there as this ball is belted high in the air out to left. Bryant is going to get back and he'll put this one away on the warning track for the first down. Shortstop. Next for the Dodgers, yeah. Chris Taylor. Taylor. First pitch coming. Here it is. The wind up and the 0 1. Hit out towards second. Sogard has it. And he'll reach first as they can't make the play on him. The pitcher. Into the box now, Garrett Clevenger. As the first pitch sinker misses to him, it's ball one. Runners on first with one down. And a strike to even the count. One and one. Man, this pitcher is on right now, pounding the zone, attacking these hitters. He's making it look easy. Dodgers pitcher trying to deal with a one and two count at the plate. Here comes the one two. Grounded back up the middle. A step on the back for one. On to Rizzo, and it's a double play. Side retired. One hits all they get. On now to the top of inning number four. The Cubs are on top, nine to nothing. All set for the start of the fourth. And up next, the center fielder, Jake Marisnik. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. This will chase one up around the letters here for strike one. Right over the top with that curveball, and it's 0-2. Yeah, flip a coin right here. I don't know what you sit on. Fastball in, then a breaking ball down and away. Pick your spot and go with it. The 
wind up and the 0-2 pitch. A swing and a miss on a ball way out of the zone, and there's one away. This is what a power pitcher will do to you if he executes his pitches. That was a three-pitch strikeout, and with the kind of stuff that he has, it's not uncommon for him to absolutely dominate certain guys. At the plate now, Patrick Wisdom. As he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. He's one for two in this one. Waved at and missed, and he's behind 0-2. Lined a second where it's caught there for out number two. The batter number four, second baseman, Eric. Next to hit is Eric Sogard. Two RBIs already, looking for more here. Now here it comes. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. What a well executed fastball right there down and away. If you're going to do any damage with that pitch you have to think up the middle the other way and you have to be diving and leaning out over that thing. One and two now. Popped him up. Taylor waits on it. And that will end the inning. So they're held in check here this half of the inning. On now to the bottom half of inning number four. It's the Cubs nine and the Dodgers nothing. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And up next, one of the terrific talents in the game, Mookie Betts. Now the first pitch. Down the first baseline. Uh, this gets foul. It's 0-1. Now here's the pitch. Changes up on him, but that's in the dirt for a ball. A little behind on that swing, and now he'll try to shorten up maybe and protect the plate. Here comes the one two. And there's a line drive base hit to left field. Hey this guy's been slumping at the plate saw his average fall below 240 prior to this at bat that knock had to feel good. Cody Bellinger. Cody Bellinger at the plate now as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. He's 0 for 1 thus far. The 1 0. You can see this guy's more focused at the plate right now. In that first AB, he went down on strikes. Betts aboard here at first with nobody out. Three and oh now. This inning hasn't started ideally for him on the mound, but here on three and oh, you have to have the mentality that you're only a strike and or a ground ball double play away from getting back on track. No walks yet. Here's the delivery. And he'll just make him throw one over here. Three and one. Hey, if he's going to execute that curveball, and that's the first one of the day, if he's going to execute it like that, be on the lookout for that one. That's going to be a big pitch for him today. No runs, two hits, one error in the ball game for the Dodgers to this point. That misses. So a single and a walk, and it's first and second with nobody out. Well, he loses him there, but that's just the first walk he's given up, along with a couple of hits, so his command has been pretty solid so far. Up next, Max Muncy. First delivery to him. 
Well, they've yet to hang a number on the scoreboard, but it looks like they've got a great opportunity from the breakthrough. Going to be pretty demoralizing if they can't. One and one to the Dodgers' first baseman. Hey, he's got great feel for that pitch right there. He can throw it anytime he wants for a strike. Down low, two balls and a strike. Great chance right here as a hitter to be really aggressive. With two guys already on, pretty good shot. He's going to get a challenge pitch right here. Two balls and a strike. Here it is. There isn't a hitter alive that doesn't love hitting in fastball counts like three and one. It's usually a pretty fruitful count in terms of getting a pitch to drive. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. Grounded to first. There's one. On to Rizzo at first, and they get them both. That's one of the hardest level plays to turn right there because of the difficult throw the first baseman has to make. No problem this time, though, and they get the two outs they were looking for. Here now is Will Smith. As he pops the first pitch foul behind the plate. Flew out in his only at bat so far. The 0 1 pitch. Nope. And that misses downstairs for a ball, one and one. Tough spot to hit here as a hitter. You have a base open, so you have to almost be trying to think like the pitcher. Is he going to try to pitch around me, or is he going to come in the strike zone? Into the corner and slicing foul. And a sinker there. Swung on and missed for out number three. One left for L.A. They're down nine to nothing. So that'll bring up Jason Hayward. He'll lead things off as they look to perhaps build on an already sizable lead. Here's the first pitch. Obviously the game plan wasn't to let this guy beat you right here. He's already walked twice, and that pitch out of the zone tells me they want nothing to do with him. Ball two now. And now some action in that Dodger bullpen as a left-hander has begun to get loose. Outside, 3-0 and oh now. You can bet they'd love ball four here. That gives the pitcher on deck an obvious bunt situation to move the runner into scoring position. Three balls and a strike to the Chicago leadoff hitter. Stealing that strike on 3-0 was important, but you don't want to miss over the heart of the plate in this situation. I got to believe he's going to be way more aggressive right here. The 3-1. Now a fastball up around the shoulders, but it's strike three called and a questionable first out of the inning. Well, that call looked like it was a little in the pitcher's favor, but it wasn't outrageous. Hey, listen, calling balls and strikes is a really tough job, and even the best are going to miss some from time to time, especially when they're sort of borderline like that last one. Not sure the hitter would want to hear that, though. 
to the plate now Kyle Hendricks as the first pitch here is a bit high it's ball one no hits to this point. The 1 0. Can't fall behind against the pitcher. Need to minimize pitch count against the easy outs, and this is certainly one of them. Two well count, the pitch is a slider down in the zone for a swinging strike. One out, nobody on. Two and two. If he's able to locate that two seamer down at the knees, he's going to get a ton of swing and miss and a ton of ground balls today. Fouled away. And a swing and a miss as they got him with the slider there, two away. Now, I know he struck out there, but for a pitcher, that's a pretty solid at bat. Anytime you can make an opposing pitcher out there work and throw quite a few more extra pitches, that's a quality A-B in my book. Standing in now, Chris Bryant. As he'll take a look at a pitch too low, it's ball one. He's two for three and looking for more here. Grounder hit hard down the first baseline. But the inning will continue as that's through for a two out hit. And he is in the second with a double, his third hit of the night. And this might be the kind of A.B. that gets him out of that slump. Smart hitting here, just going with the pitch, using the whole field instead of trying to do too much. The results speak for themselves. Into the box, Wilson Contreras. As he'll take a breaking ball too low, and it's 1 0. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Lifted down the line in left, and that will end up a foul ball. And this ball runs away for ball two, two and one. From the belt, kicks and deals. Three and one now. They know the threat this guy poses at the plate. I know it's a 3-1 in this situation right here, but I cannot believe for the life of me this pitcher is going to come anywhere near the middle of the zone. Bryant at second with two down. Contreras swings and this is well hit to left. And out of here. And I mean by plenty. That ball was crushed. It's a two run shot to straight away left. Number 13 for him on the year as the blowout continues. Yeah, and that's what you call a dream scenario or an absolute nightmare, depending on your viewpoint. A power pitcher on the bump and a power hitter at the plate. A plus B equals see you later. It's simple math, folks. In now, Javier Baez. As he'll take one on the inside corner at the knees, it's strike one. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. Good curveball that time in the low 80s, nothing in two. Two well executed pitches at the knees right there, but I know this hitter's looking for something up. 
up and in here as he had to bend out of danger. Boy, his pitch count has really spiked here in this inning. He's up to over 50 already. And the pitch. The bouncer to the left side. Throw on to Muncie, gets him, and with that, they'll end the inning. I get it, get it, I got it, I got it, I'm good, I'm about it, about it, I get it. two come across to score in the inning, courtesy of this two-run home run. On to the bottom of the fifth, it's the Cubs, 11, and the Dodgers, nothing. Welcome back to Dodger Stadium. Let's send it down to the field in Heidi Watney. Matt, during the break, I caught up with Dave Roberts, the Dodgers skipper, about his lineup's performance so far, and he told me the quality of their swings needs to improve as the game moves forward. He said they're searching for ways to drive the ball with some authority because it's just not happening for them today. They haven't gotten an extra base hit yet, so it's been a real struggle getting guys into scoring position. But the key, he said, is not to panic. Sometimes you just have to fight through the downturns and keep your focus and energy high. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. Third baseman. First pitch coming, here it is. Line shot to first, and there's one away. The batter will be Gavin Lux. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. There's another pitch for a strike, and this guy's really attacking hitters well tonight, being aggressive early on. And if he continues to throw strikes like he is, he's going to have a pretty good night. Bases are empty, one man out. He takes strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. Well, he's really locked in at this point in the game on the bump. So far no this inning, fielder. four pitches AJ. and two outs. Got the first guy on one well, pitch, and then absolutely dominates this at bat with a three-pitch strikeout. At the plate, A.J. Pollock. He'll swing and lift a ball fouled off to the left and out of play. Fly down in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. Swing and a miss, and he's in control 0 and 2. Man, he's in control of all his weapons right here. One strike away from five shutout innings. And he won't offer it that. Too high. One and two. Hey, textbook waste pitch right there. Does he go elevated fastball again or something? But we'll have to press pause. Is that strike three to retire the side? Dodgers down in order. They trail in this one 11 to nothing. Victor Gonzalez gets the call to pitch here, and he'll try to sort this mess out. He's going to try to at least eat a couple of innings for his guys. All set for the start of the inning, and set to go is the veteran first baseman, Anthony Rizzo. Pitch on the way. First pitch of the inning is taken low and away for a ball. It's 1 and 0. Now here it comes. And when you're already down by a bunch, 
this is where a guy's got to take some responsibility out there and at least start throwing some strikes. Tough pitch to lay off, but he did, and it's ball four, so the leadoff hitter is aboard to start the sixth. Well, that is definitely not the way to start an inning. One thing to give up a walk, but to do it on four pitches is pretty alarming. He looks a little thrown off right now. Digging in will be Jake Marisnik, struck out in his last trip to the plate. Yeah, and he didn't put up much of a fight either, Matty. Got to find a way. Can't go down three pitches. I don't care if you're staring at him or swinging at him. You have to find a way to make this pitcher work a little bit harder. Gets ahead of him here as he got him to swing over the top of this one. Nice job by the pitcher right there to establish himself back into the strike zone. Would have liked to have seen the hitter been a little bit more aggressive in that situation. Usually when a pitcher throws four balls in a row, that next pitch you could get super greedy right down the middle. And a sinker dips too low there. Into the dirt, in fact. Now the Dodgers get a right-hander up and throwing in their bullpen. Rizzo on at first. Nobody out. And it's one and two. Yeah, guys, he's got so much respect for this guy's fastball, you could tell he was out in front on that slider. I think he goes to the well one more time with that pitch. Counts even a two and two to Marisnik. He struck him out the third time he's fanned in the game. What's your take on all the strikeouts we see in the game today, Dan? That was his third tonight, and it seems we're seeing that a lot more these days. Yeah, Matt, there's been a real change in philosophy as far as hitting in baseball today. A lot of guys think now that an out is an out. A strikeout is just as good as a regular out, but we're seeing strikeouts at an alarming rate in baseball right now. At the plate now, Patrick Wisdom. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. He's working on a one for three thus far. Lifted down the line and left. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. His heart sank right there when that ball met the bat, but just had him out front just enough to give him another shot at potentially putting him away. To one and two now. Got him swinging. Chased it well out of the zone, and there are two gone. That's a pretty impressive pitch from a young arm like that. If you could spot your pitches there and advantage counts like one and two, you're going to have a lot of strikeouts and soft contact. Stepping in now, Eric Sogard. Weak grounder down the line at third. He's got it. Throw cleanly into first, and that ends the inning. One left for the Cubs, but they lead it 11 to nothing. Yeah. Trust me when I tell you no exceptions to the rule. Bringing blessings when I move. Special on my essence, I'm a boo. I'm lessons, I'm and now here is Chris Taylor. He'll start things out in the sixth for a lineup that really hasn't found its groove in this one. Yeah, let's see if he can work a walk, maybe a knock, ground ball with eyes, something. Catch a gap to get this offense going. Two hits as a team can start demoralizing your confidence. But if he can get on and start some traffic in motion, we might have something. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. As he'll go after a hard sinker that time and falls behind nothing in one. In my opinion, one of the toughest pitches in the game to square up. Just a heavy sinker with good downward action. Taylor behind, 0-2 the count. And now a pitch on the way. A little bit off the outside, it's 1-2. and two. Step out of the box, take a deep breath. After spitting on that changeup, you might have bought yourself a fastball. Lined but speared on a hop. And he will whip this one over to first in time for the out. 
Matt Beatty will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Here's the first pitch. He swings and hits it foul off to the right and out of play. 261 the average coming into action here. Three homers 27 driven in. Crowds him a bit with a fastball there and it's to one and one. One out nobody on. And he gets a piece of this one to foul it toward the backstop. Now a little dribbler here off to the right side of the mound. Throw just does beat him to the bag as that was pretty close. Now bad. So like two gone now for the Dodgers Mookie. in the sixth. And that'll bring up Mookie yeah. Betts. First pitch on its way. And a fastball to start things out here. Not close. It's a ball and no strikes. Two balls and no strikes. Now the 2 0 home. Down low, and the plot thickens here. 3 and 0. If you're at the plate right now, you have to realize who's on deck. I guarantee you something's over the heart of the plate. You have to be aggressive in the zone right here. There's a swing and a high drive into left center field. Marisnik going back at the track. And he makes a nice catch on the track as that ends the inning. One, two, three, go the Dodgers. They trail in this one 11 to nothing. Jimmy Nelson enters now in a mop-up role as he'll try to keep the deficit right where it is. So now to the plate, Jason Hayward. The right fielder, Jason Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. Swing and a drive to right. There it goes. And it's gone as they add still another. A solo shot that time off the bat of Jason Hayward. Sixth home run on the season for him as they just continue to pour it on here. Wow, that's a tough one. Certainly not the way you want to start your day as a relief pitcher giving up a home run. Now batting. So now to the plate, Kyle Hendricks. And he's a bit tardy there on the first pitch fastball. It's nothing in one. Sinker, one ball, one strike. And think about it. In game one of this series, they've already had to go deep into their bullpen. This could affect them for the rest of the weekend if they don't get really good starting pitching. Now the one and one pitch. Is swung on and missed for strike number two. It looked like the fastball got away from him there. Swung on, but it's pulled foul wide of third. Another try at 2 2. Sent on the ground out to second. Reined in. And there's one down now. 
Now back to the leadoff spot in the Cubs lineup. Stepping forward, Chris Bryant. He doubled his last time up. Yeah, he did a great job to go down and get that one his last at bat. But I got to think they're going to pitch him up, maybe elevate something in the zone. Interested to see how he approaches this next A.B. You got to love guys auto taking you oh oh if you're on the mound. You could steal that first strike and now you go to work just picking apart the corners. The wind up and the 0 1. And he gets him to swing through that one. He's in control 0 and 2. Now a pitch runs in on him here and all he can do is flare one foul off to the right side. The next 0 2. Bases are empty, one man out. Fastball, three. strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. The catch. Next to stand in is Wilson Contreras. He went deep for a two run homer in his previous at bat. Yeah, he absolutely torched a fastball his last time up. Pretty much a no doubter, so he's got to be feeling pretty confident right here. Ball one to start the at bat. The wind up and the 1 0 pitch. Don't expect too many more high fastballs in this one. He is known for his sinker, keeping the ball on the ground. And now a curveball that's low and in the dirt for a ball. It's two and one. Shin high fastball that time. Ball three. Into his motion. Here comes the three and one. He loses him on ball four. So that's the second walk he's worked in this one. Yeah, and that seems to be a popular approach when this guy steps in. He can really hurt you with one swing. So I think the idea is mostly not to let this one guy beat you, Matt. Into the box, Javier Baez. And a swing from him yields a foul pop out of play to the right. Struggling so far in this one and looking to erase his 0 for 4 ball game right here. Comes set and the 0 1. Good fastball there. Didn't get the swing, but the guy at the plate isn't someone who chases many bad pitches. Even at a ball and a strike, here's the pitch. Swung on and missed. One and two now. Hard hit ball to second. Scooped up. Throw on to Muncie. Gets him. And with that, they'll end the inning. Cubs get a run here thanks to this solo home run. Bottom of the seventh inning coming up. Get up and stretch. It's the Cubs 12 and the Dodgers nothing. Cody Bellinger at the plate now. He'll start things out against Kyle Hendricks as we get the inning underway. Cody Bellinger. First pitch of the A.B. now. And there's a base hit on the line. He's around first, heading for two. And this will get all the way to the wall now. And he is into second base with a leadoff double. When you're struggling as a team to put the ball the in play, base every base hit is ah. welcome, but a double will really help wake everyone up. That's just their third hit of the game, but it's a good one. Next up is Max Muncy, and his guys are looking to erase that donut on the scoreboard with a runner in scoring position. Yeah, Matt, they've been really shut down so far in this one. They've had runners on base, but haven't been able to string anything together.
He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. And he fouls this one off. Bellinger stands at second with no outs. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0 2. Yeah, he's got these hitters in the proverbial rocking chair right here, pushing the throttle and pulling it. Nice change of speeds. Way outside. One and two. Hit sharply on the ground. And it's a productive first out as that runner's able to advance 90 feet up to third here. One gone now in the LA seventh, and that brings up Will Smith. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. We're moving along into the later innings, and this guy's throwing over 60% of his first pitches for strikes. He'd like to do a little bit more, but so far, so good. That's taken. Now it's 0-2. This is where, as a batter, you got to find a way to put something in the outfield, get something elevated. I know you got to battle with two strikes and protect, but if anything is belt or above, you got to swing. Here's the 0-2. One ball, two Great pitch right there on 0-2. Purpose pitch, right? Running that ball in off the plate. Now that opens up that whole strike zone, and you're not quite as comfortable as a hitter. A man at third with one away. Just hung in there on that one. The next one two pitch. Swung on and hammered. No doubt about this one. Watch it fly. Gone. So a two-run homer down the line in left. Number 10 for him on the year. But they're going to need a few more here as they're still well behind. What a great feeling right there as he circles the pillows. Finally able to get this offense potentially going with one swing of the bat. Being shut out all game, but not anymore. Into the box now, Justin Turner, as he takes a fastball off the plate for a ball 1-0. and all. And now a pitch on the way. Looked like he was on that one, but it's one and two. That was a great hack right there. Timing was on point. Just sometimes you have bad bat barrel accuracy. Two and two the count. Into the windup and the pitch. That's where he wants that sinker to end up, but that was a nice job of laying off. The short hit hard. And there's his first base hit in this one. Yeah, and I think he might have lulled himself into a false sense of security out there. Prior to this inning, he was pitching a shutout. But now he's starting to look a little off. Standing in now, Gavin Lux. As the changeup to him drops in there for the first strike. He's hitless in his two at-bats so far. It's way the 0 1 pitch. Here's a drive out to left center field. And they'll have runners at second and third following the one out double. This game might be over for all intents and purposes, but somebody forgot to tell this guy he's a grinder and he's going to approach every at bat like it's his last. Does it again here and delivers a double into the gap. In now, A.J. Pollock, as the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball 1-0. It's not easy to continue pounding the strike zone when you've given up three consecutive hits, but he has to trust that getting the ball down in the zone will get him an out. The 
one and zero delivery. A ball and a strike. Can't keep the weight back, and he falls behind one and two. Trying to send him packing for the second time. Hey, have an A-B right here. I know it's frustrating the heck out of the pitcher. You keep fouling these pitches off, maybe one misses over the heart of the plate. And that one misses badly. It's ball two. Keep in mind, people, the longer the at-bat, the higher the likelihood that this becomes his last inning. He's set, and the 2-2 pitch. Now this is on the ground for Baez. It's short. Throw will be to first for the second out, but meanwhile, another run is in to score. They get the run there, but this now late in the game with the lead in hand, you'll stop. definitely trade it out for a run that Take doesn't mean a whole lot. Next, it'll be Chris Taylor. He's singled in two trips to the plate thus far. Has a look, now the pitch. He certainly has an open base down there, but you don't want your defenders standing flat-footed for much longer. The 1-0. Next pitch will be number 100 for him now through six and two thirds. Yeah, he's grinded this one out and he's got a chance to get through seven strong innings, Dan. That's got to light the bullpen up. Yeah, and it does, Mark, because you sit out there in that bullpen and once that starter gets through the fifth and through the sixth inning, the, the tension starts to calm a little bit out in that bullpen where you only have to get six or seven outs, not eight or nine outs. So a job well done so far. Three and one is the count to the Dodgers shortstop. It'll be interesting if he comes in the zone aggressively again here with the base open. He doesn't have to. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. Good call on that three one sinker and it's full now three and two. Tardy on that swing as it's well wide at first. The next 3 2. And this misses here for ball four. Just the second walk he's issued here into his seventh inning of work. And when your pitch count gets over 100, you've got to expect them to lose a little bit of accuracy out there. And I think if he gets in any more trouble, they might come get him. We'll see if he can finish strong. Zach McKinstry will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Now here's the first offering. He comes in with that average down in the 240s. Three homers and 19 driven in. And a change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. What a great opportunity to come through right here. 2 0 count, runners on base, find something middle of the plate and let it rip. Left a change out there for him, but he missed it 2 and 1. Boy, what a time to pull the string on him. On 2 0, there's no way anyone's thinking change up. So if you can locate it, that's pretty much unhittable. The 2 1. Grounded to short. Throw on to first, and they're able to escape the monster inning as the side is retired. So, three runs on four hits, no errors, and a couple of men left. 
We'll look ahead to inning number eight now. The Cubbies are in front, 12 to three. David Price comes on to pitch now, hoping for better results than the other arms that they've run out there in this one. Ready to begin the eighth, and next to bat will be the first baseman, Anthony Rizzo. Here it comes. The 1 1 home. Count moves to a ball and two strikes now. And it wouldn't be a game in Southern California without the obligatory beach ball sighting as this one makes its way onto the field. Ball 1 2 is an off speed pitch. No dice. It's 2 and 2. I think he's shown you right there he was trying to put you away with the off speed pitch have to be leery of that right there and take pull side away that'll keep you on all stuff fastballs and the off speed. The 2 2 one more time. Hit back up the middle. And into center field a base hit so early trouble here to start the eighth inning. Nice execution right there Dan kept his front shoulder in kept his hands inside the baseball and ripped the base hit up the middle and if you're a pitcher right there you can't get discouraged sometimes even when you make a good pitch the ball is going to find a hole somewhere that one right up the middle. At the plate Jake Marisnik. Yes, he'll take a look at ball one. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. Now the 1 0. Popped him up. Turner is there. Makes the play one away. Okay. So in now for Chicago Patrick Wisdom he comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. First offering on its way. Price ready with the 0 1 fouled off. Rizzo, the runner at first with one gone in the inning. Breaking ball as this runs in on him and he has to step out of the way that time. Here comes the one two. Gets him looking at the knees for the strikeout. That's the third time in this game he's gone down on strikes. Not the game he was hoping to have when he was taking batting practice, but at least his guys are ahead. At the plate now, Eric Sogard as the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for bowl one. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Ball and a strike. Now the one and one pitch. Left side, but well foul. Two out with the man at first. And it's fouled away. 
That's a real nice location with that fastball up and in on the hands. Hard to do much with that because a hitter really can't extend his arms very easily. He'll try again, one, two. And a half-hearted swing there as they tie him up inside for the third strike, and the inning is over. Cubs strand one. They lead it big, though. It's 12 to three. Now we're going to have a conference at the home plate area, so it would appear that we'll see a double switch here. Brad Wick will come on now and he'll slide into the seven spot in the lineup following the double switch. Sergio Alcantara is into the ball game as well as he'll slide into the pitcher spot hitting ninth now on the double switch. Bottom of inning number eight set to go and standing in the outfielder Mookie Betts. And now the first pitch. As he'll swing and hit this one hard, but foul off to the left and out of play. Man, the batter's eyes lit up right there. A hanger just a little bit out in front. Couldn't keep it fair. One and one to the Dodgers leadoff man. Cubs have someone working in their bullpen now as a right-hander's begun to get loose. The 1-1. One, one. One ball and two strikes to count. Here comes the one two. Not your normal put away pitch a two strike fastball down in the zone but he was able to get wood on it and foul it away. And a fastball swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. The Cubs are into their bullpen now as there are the final numbers for their starter. He was great all night long. Yeah, he looked really dialed in from start to finish. This is the kind of outing you hope for every time you go out there. So I think he'll feel pretty good about the effort he put forth in this one. So now to the plate, Cody Bellinger fouled away. Wick is a guy that you'll notice attacks hitters with a high velocity slider. Not the old sweeper. He really fires it in there and snaps off big numbers. Ready with the 0 1. One out, nobody on. Mowing away with that one. It's one and two. It's a great job to lay off on that nasty slider right there. It's the toughest pitch. It was my toughest pitch to lay off of. I was always sitting fastball middle away. And when that slider came out, boy, did it look like a heater for a long time. And it's another K. So back to back strikeout victims to start this relief outing. No problems for him on the mound since he's come out of the pen to start this inning. That's back-to-back -back K's, and he's making it look pretty easy. This has the makings of a good outing so far. Into the box, Max Muncy. And on the first pitch, he grounds foul. He could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. That misses wide. One ball and one strike. Two out, nobody on. And he gets a piece here as this ball is fouled away. The one two is laid off for ball two. Just missed with the 2 2 count, and it runs full now. Well, you don't see it all that often, but this might be a good time for a 3 2 change. If he can locate it, it's nearly impossible to hit. 
And the payoff pitch. And he struck him out. So a fine inning here as he strikes out this side in order. Dodgers down in order. They're down a bunch. It's 12 to 3. Kenley Jansen enters the game from the pen and because this is a non-save situation it's evident that they're just trying to get him some work after having not thrown in several days. Yeah this is all about just getting him some work guys he hasn't had a chance to come in and close a game out for several days now so they're just hoping they can keep him sharp and give him the chance to pitch in a real game situation here. First pitch coming here it is. Ninth inning underway now as the first pitch is taken for a cold strike. He's set. Here's the 0-1. And he fouls this one off. Way inside with that one, a pretty easy take there. So the intent of that 0-2 cutter right there isn't necessarily to get a swinging strike. If you get it, well, hey, that's great. But if you get it inside enough and he does make contact, he probably can't do anything with it anyway. The 1-2 is a fastball that misses. Here now the 2-2. Skied into straightaway right. Betts has a read on it. And that's the first out of the inning. Now that Stepping in next, Sergio Alcantara. Alcantara. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. Fouled off. That's in there on the outer half. One and two now. Man, you don't see this in today's game that much. A guy who's willing to work east-west consistently with a great cutter two-seamer combo. One, two is the cut fastball, but he holds back two and two. And it's fouled away. Flare out toward right center. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. now Stepping up is Chris Bryant. He went down Chris. looking in his last trip to the plate. Yeah, in today's game, certainly don't get completely reprimanded for too many strikeouts, but no one likes to go down looking. Expect him to be a little bit more aggressive at the dish this A.B. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. Ground ball left side. Defense set up perfectly. Throw to first. Beats him easily. And the side is retired. Three up, three down for the Cubs. They lead it big, though. It's 12 to 3. So now it'll be the four hole hitter, Will Smith, starting things for his side in the ninth as they face the improbable odds of trying to come back in this one. Yeah, not a lot of hope for them at this point. These guys know these bats still count, at least for their own stats. You can't mill in your chances as a professional.
Here's the first pitch to him. Now the 1 0. Ball two. 2 0. Lifted down the line and left. But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. Now another 2-2. Two -two. Swing and a miss. And that'll get a groan from the home supporters here. One away. Well, we'll see a lot of these power arms coming out of the bullpen in these days. But it doesn't make it any less impressive to me. I love watching guys come in and blow smoke right by guys. Into the box now, Justin Turner. A ball and no strikes. He's working on a one for three thus far. The 1 0. High and deep down the left field line. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. And the pitch. One and two now. Wow, that's four straight K's. He's knocking them down. He's looking for number five right here. You can tell this guy on the mound, he is pitching with a whole lot of confidence in this one. The one, two. Sliced hard on the ground. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Now, back. now to the plate, here is Gavin Lux. It was a two-bagger for him in his last at-bat. Well, he got a good pitch to hit last time up. Looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. Those are the pitches you only get maybe once an A-B, maybe once a game, maybe once a week. So he certainly capitalized on it last time. Ball and a strike. I got one ball, one strike. Skied into straightaway right. The catch is made, and the Cubs will add one more to their winning streak as this ball game is over. Man, they've already put the all-time winning streak record in their rearview mirrors. But with every win, it gets further and further away. We can say this now. This is one of the greatest teams in the history of baseball. 12 to 3 is the way this one ends. Chicago sent five balls over the wall to come out on top in this one. Kyle Hendricks hangs win number 11 on his line. Trevor Bauer only completed two innings and is charged with the loss. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersion. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter at MLB The Show. No existe quien me va a parar Se juntaron todos para quererme frenar Saludos en la federal y en la estatal Cambiaste la válvula y acá pueden balbulear Yo siempre por chela se trevo el Rolls Royce El bote parqueado en San Croy Viviendo la vida como si se va a acabar hoy Yo tranquilo en la mía que estoy El Richard Zafiro, Dios más los bendiga Mis hijos no nacen Time of the ball game Four hours and one minute Tonight's paid attendance a sellout, 56,000. The Dodgers thank you for attending tonight's game. And as you leave Dodger Stadium, we remind you to please drive home safely.